Hey YouTube, um, I guess the reason why you're watching this video is because you're fed up with uh, getting pop-ups on your Metro PCS um, Samsung Admire. Um, so this really is a process here to stop all those pop-ups, those extra uh, pop-ups that they have that come stock with your phone. Um, now this one here, the black one, as you can see in my earlier video if you watched it, which I strongly recommend that you watch uh, the video that I had up earlier um, uh, this one here actually has the app that I'm going to use um, it's called bloat it's actually called bloat freeze um, that's right here I'm pulling it up right now so you guys could actually see how it looks before you actually do it now the red phone that you see here doesn't currently have one while that's coming up let's take a look at the red one the red one doesn't currently have the app installed currently so <clears throat> my objective here is to install the app currently that I have on the black one on here uh, to help free up some space and make the phone run more efficient um, so now that the app pulled up let's take a quick look inside so of course yeah I'm getting a little bit of um, pop up there which is you know totally fine I mean the, the app itself is 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 free so uh, I haven't um, purchased the app from the uh, from the app store but you know it's free it's a free app so if you guys uh, want to use it you know you're totally welcome to go ahead and use it now one thing I did want to recommend is that or I did want to mention is that in order for you to use this app your phone has to be rooted I repeat your phone your Samsung admire has to be rooted now um, as you guys can see if you look at my screen right now um, it says um, that some of my uh, some of my my applications are actually frozen um, so when the application is frozen it doesn't pull up on your phone so it, it, it definitely helps to give you a little bit more um, memory and like I mentioned earlier, it helps to make your phone run more efficiently. So a couple of these apps like this. This is one of the apps that I blocked from coming up is the book book books apps. I mean this comes up on a regular basis, updates and stuff like that. And now but now that I have it blocked, um it doesn't come up at all. So um and I have a few more other ones that I actually have it up on block here. Okay. So um, I blocked the Korean keyboard. I also blocked the stock, uh, the stock launcher that the, uh, the phone came with. So you guys see right there, it's blocked, so it doesn't come up because I'm actually using a uh, a D W launcher. So um, find that more uh, customizable to use. So that's what I use on my phone here. So let's get back to the red phone. We're gonna go ahead and uh, install that app. So first, I'm going to pull up the App Store, of course, and uh, try to find the App Store in this one. Now, like I mentioned earlier, your phone will have to be rooted in order for you to use this, um, this app. Okay, so once you try to install it and, you, and if your phone is not rooted, you won't be able to use it because it does check to make sure that you have... Uh, super user or um, you know a root checker app installed in order for you to use it so uh, let's go to the app store now this is the snaps market so because my phone is rooted I'm able to get a different market than just a regular Android market and I could just type in load freeze and I'm gonna search seem to be coming up in that market so 
we'll try the regular Android market. Now, that's totally normal. I mean, sometimes when you search in one market, you might not find one app. So, you know, you could just go into the regular market and give it a go and see if you're able to get anything here. So that's what we're going to try. We're going to try that. This is actually the regular Android market. So uh, we're going to try it again. Oops. There we go. And this is the app that we want right here. It's the first one. As you guys can see, it's totally free. I just wanted to point that out. So uh, let me get in here and you guys can actually see the app. Um, to see it's the same type of app that I was talking about earlier. So this app here is actually, it's a free app. Like I mentioned, it's called Low Freezer. We're going to download the app from the App Store right now. Accept. As you guys can see, I'm on Wi Fi network, so it's going pretty fast. Uh, let's take a quick look. Already installed right now, already downloaded and installed, so now we can pull it up. See, right away it's asking me uh, to check. If my phone is actually on on uh, not unlocked, sorry. Uh, if my phone is rooted, and once it checks to make sure that your phone is rooted, I'm using Super User, so I'm able to hit Allow. It's going to check. I know this phone is rooted, so it shouldn't have a problem installing. Once it installs here, it's going to ask me uh, what apps that I want to freeze. Um, of course, it's going to you know give you the standard information here what version and stuff like that uh, we'll close that out and now we're back to all the apps that's stored on the phone and uh, you got the Bluetooth and all type of uh, apps really so whatever you guys don't like popping up on your phone you can freeze it out um, however um, before you freeze out anything uh, you want to do some research so that way you don't have uh, any sort of system problems freezing out system files running in the background. Okay? <clears throat> Sorry, I got a frog in my throat here. Uh, but pretty much that's it. I mean, you know, if you guys take a look real quick, I mean, that's pretty much all the apps that pulls up on the phone. I got device manager, dialer, and so forth. So anything that I want to stop, I'm able to do with this app, and it will free up some space. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell for this app here. If you guys have any questions, like I mentioned, feel free to write me a comment or uh, just send me an email. All right? Okay, that's it. And uh, like I say, it's in the App Store. It's called Bloat Freezer. It will definitely help you out a lot with your phone and uh, free up some space for you guys to download more applications. Now I'm going to put up a video on here about another app that's going to help you out a lot because these phones really don't have a lot of internal uh, memory, so you want the best help that you can have in order to transfer the transfer those applications to your SIM card and once you do that it's going to free up a lot of space on your phone for you to do other things like surf the web um, and just play music and so forth okay so I will be posting that in a in a in a next video so you guys look out for that uh, for now that's it and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video okay all right bye bye